Welcome back into After the Whistle. There are still more teams who are on their way to the B, starting with a team who punched their ticket in the same place they'll play next week. Yeah, that's right. Region 6, always fun. And it's a team that's no stranger to state. The Rugby Panthers, a basketball-heavy school, making their return for the first time since 2020 to the state tournament after taking down our Redeemers 48-41 in the Region 6 title game. Rugby was the last Region 6 team to reach the state title game where they fell by just two points to Kindred back in 2019. After missing the state tournament the last few seasons, the team is ready to show what they're made of at the state tournament once again with the roster featuring nine seniors led by Region 6 Coach of the Year, Jen Brosser. I couldn't be proud of these girls, but we're not done. Uh, we got a lot of unfinished business. Um, last couple years, it's been a little tough watching someone else go. Well-deserved teams that went and represented, though, and uh, we're just glad to be back. I feel like our chemistry within the team, we have such great chemistry. Like I said, we've been playing together since fifth grade, and we just have such great chemistry all together, and we bond together so well, and we just love each other, and we get along. Well, while the Panthers scored 63 points per game in the regular season, the team hangs their hat on what they bring defensively, giving just over 38 points a game heading into the postseason. The team's defensive effort in the region championship is a big reason why they're headed back to state. These girls, I don't know if they admit it, but they like to play defense. Um, it's a heck of a ball team. Senior stepped up, made some great stops. Uh, Peyton Hogg played a phenomenal basketball game. Jordan Junt, Joey Wolf had some great shots under the basket. Um, I could go on and on, but that was a collective effort by 15 girls that didn't want to quit their season. We play defense so intense. We love to play defense. I feel like that's kind of our backbone. Obviously, that gets our offense flowing, and we just we just love to play. We play it so intense. We always are just going on defense. We just love to play it. Here's the Panthers tournament profile. Rugby won its first 14 games of the season before the Panthers lost in two of their last four games of the season by seven points at home to Shiloh Christian and at Thompson. Entering the postseason as the top seed in District 11, they beat West Hope Newburgh and Botno to take the District 11 title, following that with wins over TGU and South Prairie Max to get back in the regional title game. The Panthers trying to become the first Region 6 team to win the title since Bishop Ryan won its third straight in 2016. Take a look at our player to watch for the Panthers has got to be the senior forward, Michael Heidelbaum. With more than 1,000 career points and multiple all-district and all-region awards under her belt, she signed on to play college ball at Northern State in the NSIC next season. This is her third trip to the state tournament. She was on that 2019 team as an eighth grader, so she knows what it takes to win games on the state stage. Well, let's move on to Region 8. One of the teams to watch this season, the Kenmare Bowbells Hawkers, winning the last three region championships. The Hawkers finished the season with just one loss against region and district teams following the Stanley back in January. They made it back to the state tournament with a 22-point win over the Tioga Lady Pirates in the championship game. The Hawkers started off hot right away with a 16-0 start, but the Lady Pirates made it interesting in the end of the second quarter, going into the half only down five. And coming out of the half, Tioga would take the lead, but Kenmare would fight back, scoring 24 points in the fourth quarter to take home back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Region 8 titles. Head coach Mike Zimmer says his message at the half is going back to the basics. We knew it was going to be a good game. They're a good team, and they do a lot of things really well. So we knew it was going to be a good game. He just reminded us to stay composed and continue to be physical and get a couple more rebounds and make a couple more shots. Uh, we kind of lost our composure, you know. Uh... We, we weren't attacking the basket anymore. Everything was around the perimeter, and uh, so that was the focus was to catch the ball, look at the basket, shoot it when you're open, you know, just basic stuff. Well, Ken Mayer hopes that familiarity on the big stage can help them out next week. They say that experience helps calm the nerves because they fully trust all their teammates on the court. Now turning their attention to facing teams from all over the state, they're preparing for physical battles on both sides of the ball and well, with having a group that has been together for the last 10 years, they're heading to the Magic City, soaking in every moment. I mean, the basketball is fun, but I think they just enjoy spending time with each other. So, you know, we're going to talk some X's and O's, but it's, it's going to we're not going to be able to change a whole lot of stuff. We're going to do what we do and try to enjoy it. Being physical, you know, when we aren't physical, we aren't as good. When we don't grab rebounds or we're not physical in the block, we have a lot of height in our team, so it's a big advantage for us to be physical down there and get our post the ball. The Hawkers tournament profile starts with a 21-2 record. They are on the way to the B 
for the third straight season. They are currently ranked number two in the state with their two losses to Kindred and District 16 foe Stanley. Ken Mayer capped off the season winning the Region 8 title over Tioga as they look to bring home the first Class B title to Ken Mayer in program history. The Hawkers have several key players that are making an impact on the court on both sides of the ball, but one of them for sure is Brenna Strogan. Senior center, center averaging around 18 points a game, 1,600 plus career points. So they'll need to lean on her to be a force on both sides of the ball at the state tournament.